share this, the hole just got a little bit deeper. In a season that has been plagued by horrendous starting pitching, it was Boston's bullpen that shouldered a XX loss on Wednesday night in the Bronx as the Sox dropped both games of their two-game set against the New York Yankees. The Boston Red Sox got a tremendous start from Nathan Ivaldi, who put forth by far his best start of the season. The right-hander struck out six over six innings, allowing just one run on three hits with one walk. But it was for naught. A Brett Gardner grand slam in the seventh off of Ryan Brazier, who inherited a bases-loaded situation, flipped the game on its head. The Sox would threaten in the eighth inning by loading the bases with two outs but could not play any runs. Adam Ottavino got the win for the Yankees. Brandon Workman took the loss. Aroldis Chapman earned the save. Boston falls to 6-13 with the loss, while the Yankees move to 8-9 with the win. In a word poof, what was shaping up to be a nice rebound victory for Boston went up in smoke. On the bump, Avaldi put forth his best start of the season in a much-needed bounce-back performance from a Red Sox starter. The right-hander, as usual, brought the heat, topping out at 100 miles per hour on Wednesday in the Bronx and stifling Yankee bats for most of his outing. He skated through smoothly in the first three frames, stranding runners in the first and second before chucking a 1-2-3 third. He ran into his first real trouble in the fourth after allowing a leadoff walk to Luke Voigt. The Yanks' first baseman advanced to second on a fielder's choice, which was ruled an error after Nunez could not quarrel a throw from Xander Bogarts. Clint Frazier then drove in the Yanks' first run of the game with a one-out double that squeaked inside the left field foul line. Ivaldi capped his outing by retiring the last eight batters he faced, striking out Aaron Judge when the sixth inning. He threw 104 pitches, including 67 strikes. Brandon Workman came on in the seventh, and would record just one before getting pulled with the bases loaded. The righty allowed a leadoff single to Frazier. A Gio Urshela strikeout was bookended by walks to Mike Talkman and Austin Romini. Ryan Brazier could not bail the Sox out of the inning, allowing Brett Gardner to drive a grand slam over the right field while on a 0-2 fastball middle-middle to make it 5-3 Yankees. Brazier would get out of the frame without any more damage. Heath Hembry hurled a 1-2-3 eighth. In the batter's box, Martinez got things started with a two-out solo home run in the top of the first belting the first pitch over the right center field wall. Vasquez made it 3-0 with a two-run homer in the top of the second, sending one the opposite way off tap. The Red Sox would not muster much else off of Hap, who allowed five hits and a walk over six and a third innings. Trailing 5-3 in the eighth, the Sox tried to muster some two-out magic after Martinez reached on an infield single. Steve Pierce followed with another knockoff out of Vino. Mitch Moreland then drew a walk to load the bases. But Nunez flied out to right field when the frame. Chapman retired Boston in order in the ninth. Rafael Devers and Martinez were the only Sox with multiple hits. Uki Betts and Jackie Bradley Jr. each went 0 for 4. Boston did out hit New York 8 to 5. Tweet of the day timing is everything the Red Sox bullpen had not been an issue until tonight. Talk about bad timing. Ian Brown, Addy M. Brown, April 18, 2019. Up next, the Red Sox will get a day off on Thursday before heading to St. Petersburg, Florida. To start a three-game road set against the Tampa Bay Rays on Friday. First pitch from Tropicana Field is slated for 7.05 p.m. Eat thumbnail photo via Adam Hunger, USA Today Sports Image. I share this, let's block ads. Why? 